If you're coming on here, hi by the way, I'm not trying to spill this. If you're coming on here for the first time ever and have not checked out my previous video, part one of this, then go check it out. Basically, I have an explanation of what happened, but I made it, everybody. What happened is I paid a man, some man, $25 to take me to Whistler. Basically, I found this building and I walked in and, and a man realized that I was like in tears and he asked me what what's wrong what can I do and I was like just get me to Whistler sir that's all I need and he was like well if you stand out there there's gonna be a man who will come up in like a mini bus he can take you to Whistler but he only will take cash I'm like well you know what the last thing I'm gonna think of right now is that's a little sketch the first thing I thought of was well that's the way I can get to Whistler so why not and I had to Go to an ATM and got hit with that ATM fee, but I made it to Whistler. That's awesome. After that crazy chaotic experience, I got to sit on the bus and you know what? I got to eat my cold ass food now, my Tim Hortons croissant sandwich and my cold coffee, but it was okay because this view, this view was beautiful. And as we ventured out from Vancouver to Squamish and then to Whistler, it was just so beautiful. I didn't even have to listen to music, yo. It was gorgeous. You know, I was really thinking about including some music in here and I wrote some music down on my phone and it would have been awesome to include with this cool sick ass footage, but guess what? YouTube's copyright thing is so strict, like I couldn't do that. So you know what? I will sing it for you. This is such a good song. <laughs> oh shit, I need the lyrics. I would like to reach out my hand on my way. <laughs> Ready? Five, six, seven. Pick me up where going something. We're almost there. To run on my way. You know what they say about the young. Wow, he said that really fast. Okay, I'm gonna stop that right there because clearly that's really good singing and that's enough for your ears to hear uh here i am okay so i literally just got off the bus it's pretty cold 12 20 so i still have so much time my check-in is at like four o'clock okay i'm in the bathroom right now i just signed into my um hostel which is the pangea and they have like a cocktail like they have a bar and everything which is super cool and i get a free drink you can't even call it like small towny like it's it's like a it is a village Good one, Jordan. That's exactly what it is, and that's what it's called. But I got a pee, and I made it, and it's all good. So as you can see, just mwah, incredible artwork on the walls we have here. It's got, it honestly had such a big, like, sitting section, and, like, there was a cafe and the bar and everything. So then I went out to the zip lining place, which, as you can see, was in the center of the village. I got some nice pictures of myself, indeed, as well, and I met the people who were in my troop, my group, the zip lining thing that we were doing. And I was the only solo traveler, but that was okay. And then we arrived, and, and I was in awe. There was snow on the tippy tops of the mountains. How cool. And here we are at our first ever zip line. Well, not first ever. I mean, the first one of the day. And it was incredible. This zip line, by far, was the fastest and the longest. And I was just thrilled when I was on it. It was awesome. For real. On this second zip line, we were encouraged to go upside down, to literally hang upside down. I said, what the heck? You're allowed to do that? And then one of our guides showed us how it was done and everybody tried it. What an incredible view. Oh my gosh, I caught a kiwi on camera. That's what they call people from New Zealand, which I never knew until today, that day. Wow. Who's that cutie? She, she's single? And if it can reach past that, 
they'll make their mark and this is their territory. If it can't, it will go and move on. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. What can I say? We learned about bears on this day. Pretty cool day because I guess I didn't know too much about bears. Dwight Schrute didn't tell me enough. But on this day, I learned that bears are super competitive. And if they claw a tree, it's their tor territory. And if another bear comes along and claws that tree but claws a higher mark, then it is then their territory. I think we can all learn something from bears. You know what? If you claw your girl, she is then your territory until the next guy claws her in a more difficult spot and then he gets to steal your girl and that girl is his territory. I call it human nature, baby. And that was it. That was the end of my ziplining adventures. Solo traveling, yeah. One of the guides actually, she is from an area close to my area and uh we knew like which high school each other went to and everything so i was talking to her and she's 19 and she moved out here so she's from that city basically where i am it's awesome because she moved out here and and she's just doing her thing that's awesome man that inspires me to do something like that but i'm gonna stop talking because it's really quiet so this is what the inside of my pod looks like i did a really bad job at showing you i'm sorry Okay, and then what ended up happening is I talked to my brother on the phone for about an hour and then I decided to go out and explore and as I was getting out of my pod, some other girl uh, was getting out of her pod and I started laughing at her and then we started laughing kind of together, but I sort of made fun of her first to make friends and uh, then I was like, hey, what's your name? What are you doing? You want to chill? And we did. We went to the bar. We talked to the bartender. We had a good time. And then we decided, let's go out for drinks. And we did. And I got definitely, I wasn't sober. That's, but it's okay because Jordan wasn't driving and she allowed herself to let go for once. I went back. I met somebody. And I hung out with her. She's an Aussie. And it was fun. And I had a good time. And I drank. Video just deleted anyway i'm in my bed now i'm in my sleep now <laughs> you know part of me was like jordan you should just keep going out drink felt really good I was super tired either wanted to crash or wanted to party harder it was either or and then we played a board game i drank some water so sobered up a little bit and uh now i'm just so tired like when i get drunk i either get tired or i just need to party if i don't party i'll fall asleep so I'm going to fall asleep now. Good morning, or howdy, how you doing? It's the next day, and I woke up and walked out and had to figure out how the frick I was going to get home. So I went to the Greyhound station, but guess what? There is no Greyhound station in Whistler. I did not have a ride home, but I figured it out, y'all. It's okay, and I got some beautiful, lovely pictures while I was on my walk in the morning. Then I had an appointment at the Scandinav, Scandinav, whatever it's called, spa, and I had to hop on a bus to get there. So I hopped on this bus, and this really nice bus driver man was just really freaking great to me, and I had a great time with him. What do you do back in Toronto? I'm an actress. <laughs> so do you I... want to know that they filmed lots of movies here in Whistler? I know, I heard. I can't get over, like, I actually will freaking move to Whistler. I'm, I have to walk down this road. It's really pretty, though. Though, but it it feels like um, a horror movie when, when somebody's about to get kidnapped because like I'm a child on the side of the road just walking. Some blue ass water. Am I right? Blue. I made it. I did a lot of circling around. I didn't know where I was going, but I made it. And then I went to the spa. You know, I had like a good eight hours there, I think. Um, that's it. I think I took four pictures. So here you go. Oh, and it was like eight degrees, but I decided to tan because I'm so Canadian. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. <sighs> this is going to be a mission. Sky, look how blue it is. So I'm really going to get my exercise in. So I was at the stop that the, my bus driver told me to go to. Like, cool. So I looked up the bus time. It's like, whatever, 10 minutes late. Not a big deal. But I'm standing there and my Google Maps is saying, Google Maps, am I right? Oh, um, you need to walk to a different stop. And I was like, I, uh, can't I just be here? And like, I just wanted to listen to the bus driver, but then I wanted to listen to Google Maps, so I didn't know what to do. And then I was like, you know what? I've been waiting 10 minutes. I don't really want to wait any longer. I can walk. It says a 30 minute walk, but like, it's never that long. Oh shit. I don't think I can walk on this side. Yep. Okay. 
exercise is good. I was like, yeah, why not walk? And it's so pretty. So doubt it's gonna take 30 minutes. It might take 25. Then I made it to the place of of just gods. Like this, oh my goodness. If you, not, no, you don't even have to like pies to like this place. It was unfreaking believable. And this is live footage of me experiencing the magical moment of dying and coming back to life. Okay, I'm back. I had such a good time in Whistler. I need to charge my phone. My phone is at 1%. Probably gonna pop off. My mom leaves tomorrow, and then I'm going to an Airbnb tomorrow. I think I told you guys this already, but it's $175 for the night. Yeah, and I could have stayed in a hostel, so I'm pretty pissed about that. But that was me. That That's totally my fault. Okay, it's the next morning. Good morning. We're going out for breakfast at this place called Jam, the Jam Cafe. Okay, we just got here. There's a line outside that we waited in. Maybe half an hour. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Thick cut brioche topped with buttermilk fried chicken, pickled cabbage, jalapeno sour cream, maple bourbon barbecue glaze, hot honey sauce, green onion, cilantro. And we're debating if we want to get something else like these cinnamon bun pancakes. That's a lot of food. I know. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> I didn't get our reactions, but mom, how good was that? Oh my god. It's the best ever. We have this leftover, but this one was really good as well. Uh, fried chicken and French toast one was so good. Like, I've never had something. And it wasn't that greasy either. You didn't have more. Come on. I'm so full. This is Gas Town, and there's the mountains back there. There's a little steam clock. We're just gonna walk up and down, check out some stores, that's it. Then in the last few hours that I spent with my mom, oh my god, it sounds like she's dying. She didn't die, I promise. She just had to go home. Uh, we just decided to take a walk. And that was it, she went bye-bye, back to Toronto land. So my mom just left, it's like one o'clock now. She has to catch her flight. The next day I'm here by myself. Oh my gosh. I just got here and like the view is freaking amazing. I'm so tired of like carrying all this shit around. Thankfully, I can finally put it down. I'm gonna go to the Cannibal Cafe, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I was gonna go for happy hour, but I, I'm not planning on getting drunk either. It was featured on You Gotta Eat Here. It's like a really good burger place, so I'm gonna go there. It's funny because I like just talk about, oh my god, I wanted to go there. The little fair. Distracted. Like, right there. Now I'll tell you this, I went here by myself and I sat up by the bar by myself and I felt so empowered. I, I encourage everybody to try it. I also got this killer burger called the Good Morning Vietnam and it's just so good, so messy. It was featured on You Gotta Eat Here so I had to get it. Here it is, a lemongrass chicken patty, pickled carrots and something I can't pronounce, five spice bacon, fried egg, hoisin, cucumber, and jalapeno cilantro mayo. Cil what, what the f was that? Cilantro mayo, lettuce and pickles. The best part about being alone is you don't have to worry about being messy. I was not on a date. I, I, don't, I didn't have to impress anyone. I was by myself so I could be as messy as I wanted because I don't give a f <laughs> That's so good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. I am, I think, going back to the area that my uh, Airbnb is from. I had one drink and I already feel it, man. Okay, I'm a little bit tired, but that's because I'm also a little bit tipsy. I'm not drunk, but I'm definitely not all the way there. And I've been walking, I, I feel like I'm a freaking superhero when I'm tipsy because I was speeding through those mother tunnels to get to the, to the station. I was going so mother fast. Anyway, okay, okay, it's just before 8 a.m. Now, I have so much phlegm built up in my throat. <coughs> I can't get it out. I guess I'm kind of walking to the subway station area now because I think I'm gonna go to Stanley Park. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm so stupid I left my battery on. Oh, also, more mountains. So there's no way I'm gonna have time to obviously walk through all of it. But um, I'm gonna like walk through some of it. Oh, it's so pretty on that side. Okay, so I stopped for a second. So basically, 
I walked all the way here and then I realized, well, it's huge. So I can't do basically any of it. And like, I have to be out of my Airbnb by 11 o'clock, walk around the edge. So like, I have a pretty walk instead of walking in the city, but I definitely didn't get to do Stanley Park. Camera does not do it justice. Like when you're here, it looks way closer. Okay, I walked like 20 minutes to get to this ramen place, but with all my luggage. I'm just so happy that they're open because they open at 11 and it's, I got in at 11.01. I am so hungry. I didn't eat breakfast today. It just came, it smells so good. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. I'm so hungry. So for my last hour of, of Vancouver, I spent it eating ramen. Anyway, my battery's flashing. It's gonna die. And that's it for my BC adventures, homies. Thanks for putting up with me if you made it to the end. <laughs> Weird.